There's a threshold in English, a point where people go from English learners to English speakers. The understanding and the correct usage of present perfect tense is often considered this point. One reason why present perfect tense is considered so important is because there are many different ways that we use it. Today, we will look at one of those ways. Stay tuned as I make present perfect with for and since easy. Hi everyone, how are you? I'm Edward from English Made Easy and today we're going to learn one of the best ways in English to talk about things that started in the past and connect to the present. That's present perfect with for and since. If we want to tell somebody about what we did in the past, then we just use past simple tense. These are for things that have already been completed, such as yesterday I ate pizza, last week I went to the cinema, two years ago I visited Japan. But how about if something started in the past, but it's still in progress? That's when we have to use present perfect tense. Let's look a little bit more closely at the basics of present perfect. The affirmative or positive structure of present perfect is a subject plus have or has plus verb three. We use have with the pronouns I, you, we, and they. We use has with the pronouns he, she, and it. Verb three is also known as the past participle. Let's look at some verbs and go through verb one, two, and three. We'll use the verbs eat, go, see, live, and play. Eat becomes ate and then eaten. Go changes to went and then gone or been. See becomes saw for verb two and seen for verb three. Live changes to lived and remains the same for verb three. The same is true for play, where verb two and verb three are the same, played. The first three verbs I just presented were called irregular verbs because verb one, verb two, and verb three are different. The last two examples, live and play, can be considered regular verbs because verb two and verb three are identical. Now that we've covered the basics of the structure of present perfect, let's see how we can actually manipulate it and use it to talk about events that connect the past to the present. If I told you I lived in Australia for six years, that means that in the past, I lived in Australia for a period of time, but I no longer live there. How about if I say I have lived in Australia for six years using present perfect tense with four. This noun means that I moved to Australia six years ago and I still live there. A couple more examples to help make this clear are, I have played video games for 25 years. I have been an English teacher for five years. Again, you can see I have used present perfect with four to talk about something which started in the past and has continued until now. In those three examples, I chose the word for to mean the duration or how long something has happened. So what about since? Since doesn't describe how long something has happened. Instead, it tells us about when it started or the origin point. Here, we have the same examples that we used with for. Let's see if we can rewrite them using since. My first sentence, I have lived in Australia for six years, means that the activity started six years ago. This lesson was made in 2017, so six years ago is 2011. Therefore, I can use since to say, I have lived in Australia since 2011. A present perfect remains the same, but instead of using for plus how long, I can use since plus the starting point. Let's complete the other two now. The second example can be changed to, I have played video games since I was four, using my age as a starting point rather than the year. And we can change the last example to, I have been an English teacher since 2012. Hopefully this video has helped you understand when to use past simple to talk about things which were completed in the past and when to use present perfect tense to talk about things which started in the past but have continued to today. 
At the beginning of this video, I mentioned that present perfect tense has multiple uses, and that's true. I will be making videos to explain all these different uses. So if you think that's something that will help you, I recommend you subscribe to see those videos. Thanks for watching this lesson of English Made Easy. If you feel like this video helped you, please give it a like, share it with your friends, or even consider subscribing to see more of our videos. If you have a question that you want answered, please post it in the comments section below. Or if you'd like to join our community, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or even support us on Patreon. You can find the links to all of these below. Thanks for watching and keep learning.